While searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. Sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the Elven Mage, yet the Wild Hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. Hello, welcome back to Witcher 3. It's me, A. Prustian. I am in the same general area I was when I left. Um, I've just come over to one of these small little towns because I wanted to check it out on my way down here to the bog. Um, so yeah, let's see what is in this town. It looks like a blacksmith, which is nice. My gear is actually in pretty good shape for once. So you have a grindstone though. Yes, that's the armor thing. Where's the, and then there's, no, that's the armor one. Yep, there's the weapons one. Awesome. You know what, let's just talk to you real quick. Trusty arms for all sorts, steel swords and strong maces for the menfolk, and grave knuckle dusters for the ladies. Are you a master weapon? Master set? quality weapons. You capable of making them? Who do you think I am? A Tory. A Tory? The master craftsman of Novagrad. Why, everyone's heard of him. Says he's retired now, so no. Ain't no one can do what you ask. Hmm. I have a Show feeling I'm gonna run into that guy at some point. So long. <clears throat> okay. I got a couple questy uh, map things from this guy. I should remember to look more at uh, a lot of it's this stuff, I think, that I buy from the blacksmiths. But you know, I do have some of these contracts that like, I could probably handle at this point. I'm level nine, I could do a couple of these. But, oh, and I could do some of that. I could do some of this. I actually have quite a lot I could do that's low, that's lower than my current level. Um, but I think I want to keep doing the witches in the bog thing right now, just because that's where I'm already at. Eh, caught on the fence. Oh my god, there we go. Sent my youngins to pick mushrooms yesterday. To the woods? Alone? You know how it is. Have too many mouths to feed. What kind of mother are ye? More food for the rest now. Oh, jeez. It's, it's a harsh life here. More fisty cups, a popular pastime in Foul potato eating pestilence. Watch out, good folks. Some damn pestilence eating our taters. Taint beetles, but somewhat else. Some kind of pox that turns leaves black. As soon as you eye such leaves, tear them up and burn them at once, or you will lose the whole harvest. That's good advice. My dog's gone missing. Brown with those white patches. Goes by Teddy. It's a terrible loss. I've been having him scavenge the battlefield and already put on a bit of fat. Whoever helps you bear the meat and tallow. Aww. Poor Teddy. Hark! For the last moon I saw the wild hunt dash across the sky. Tis a sign. War is coming. That no end of disease and misfortune. Plead the gods to spare us, for without their favor we shall most certainly perish. Isn't war already here? Monster in my manor. Good people, my ancestral farmstead reared in a state infested with monsters. The manor house and all the surroundings have been occupied, leaving one be afraid to even take a peek, let alone live therein. That manor is all I have left to cherish in this life, so I plead for mercy. Whoever can find the charity in their soul to help an old woman in need, come see me, and in return you shall receive my eternal gratitude. Is that sufficient for a witcher to take on a contract? I feel like that's, you know, gratitude is fine, but anyways. Contract on, God knows what on. 
Good folk. Walking the woods recently, I spied some odd tracks and couldn't for life me figure out what left them, even though I have many a hunt under my belt. You know me, I'm not one to make a fuss, but I can't help but reckon they bode ill and we should all be on guard. If anyone sees something or figures out you can identify the tracks, come see me. There's a reward. Okay, monster in the cemetery. People of Linden Vale and thereabouts, if you got any notion of wandering over to the graveyard, rid yourself of it at once, for some evil's taken it over, digging up graves and doing other such damage. Lately it's begun preying on who, any who enter, and has even kidnapped the miller's lad. So if you've got an ounce of sense, stay far from you've got the courage and skill, slay the monster. Efforts will surely be rewarded. Okay, got a few more things. Cool. I'm not gonna worry with the um to the forest for brushwood yes. The berry widow on those other shops right now, because I, I don't have that much I need to spend money on or to buy. You know, I just had this realization, I was just thinking, I was like, wait a minute, did I have some quest to like fix Defender of the Faith. Yeah, fix these shrines. I'm like trying to remember where those were because at the time they seemed so far away and now that I've been places yeah, okay. So that's still a little bit further down than I was, but not by much. And I've actually been there and could get back there easy. Okay, that's cool. I'm not going to do it right now. I was just kind of curious. Besides, it's level 10. I feel like some big old monster is going to come out and try to eat me. Okay, main quest. Nope, nope, go back. Uh, Ladies of the Wood. It is funny. I felt early on that I couldn't level up fast enough, and now I'm like really out leveling the plot. It's, uh, it's all a little bit unbalanced, I feel like, maybe a little bit that way. But I don't, mi I don't mind out leveling the plot. Um, there's certainly a lot of stuff that's still at my level or above. And I've had so much trouble with, uh, <clears throat> you know, the random, like, groups of bandits and stuff early on that... I don't mind being at or above their level, for sure. Alright, let's see where this takes us. Guarded treasure. Is that a bear? Being guarded by a bear? Uh, I could maybe take a level 12 bear. can keep dodging around, bud. Oh, it still got me. Blah. Whoa! Tried to dodge that, could not. Okay. I was gonna say, I, this is only one bear, right? You're not like calling more bears or something. Bears don't really do that. Do they? It's like, no, but bears do this. Womp. Nice. I was gonna say, is that Teddy, but it looks like a deer. Ooh. Oops. Oh, well, that's not that good. Shoot. I mean, it's light armor, which is nice, but... Meh. Alright.
anything else to loot over here? It's not looking like it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Back to the ladies. I knew it. Uh, looks like more stuff. One more thing of stuff. That's fine. It was more stuff. Give me stuff to pick up. I will pick it up. Okay. Jeez. Okay, what level are you guys? Oh, man. You're gonna regret this. How is it that early on I find all the level, like, 9 bandits and 7 bandits and now they're all level 3? Like, seriously. What? What is going on here? When you enter Valen, you're up here, and everybody around here is level 7, while you're like level maybe 4? And now that I'm level 9, everybody in this area is freaking level 3! <laughs> I don't- I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I'll take it now, but man was that frustrating earlier. Two pipes, jeez, bud. I'm really intrigued by that tree. Come on now. Up on the hill. I saw that from the other side back when I was doing stuff with Kira. And it just seems like such an interesting landmark. Um, so I'm hoping we end up over there. Let's go down this Whoa. way. That's uh, it, Roach. Yeah, keep going, Roach. <clears throat> this is looking like a thing. the wrong button. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, do I have to examine them? Or can I just find them and follow them? Okay, the yellow circle on my mini-map is moving with me. And it is funny, like, the, uh, the witch is helpful, but it's with these, like, um, flowers that are, that look like this, it kind of blends in a little. It's actually nice because then you have to pay a little bit of attention. Although, honestly, at this point, like, dude, I'm just following the path. Do I, do I have to have witcher senses to, whatever. It's all good. Let's me know I'm doing the right thing. There's some. I feel like I don't really need the Witcher senses to find these, but you know, in a pinch. Kind of feel like it's just leading me here. went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said how tasty, best sausage I have seen. 
Cook's a stupid killer. Shouldn't have ate the pub. Now we're light a fire. Gonna roast him up. One, two, three. The one to fetch the kindlings. Thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. I love the kids in this game. They're all like, fuck off, stranger. I love it. I feel like I know what they're doing in the swamp. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. The w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zamek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. What are you doing out here alone? We's not alone. We's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. <laughs> I love these sassy kids. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? <laughs> You're no lassie. Lassie's got tets. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Uh -huh. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's <laughs> this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shot. Watch your language. They tell tales and tales, nor but tales. <clears throat> you look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Hmm. <clears throat> Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? <laughs> Nay, I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose, see? Gwen's got a lovely beak. Oh, <laughs> my darling girl. Our oh, kids are so sweet. <laughs> Just talking to the kids, asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. You're betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. I feel like this lady is traumatized a bit of help please a young ashen-haired woman just need to know if you've seen her what are you looking at children wash your hands we'll go catch crickets won't learn anything from you aye because i don't know nothing that johnny knows he knows a lot when i ask him something he says wait i'll scratch my arse and tell you <laughs> ugly word what you saying to the hut you'll stand in the corner i'll make sure you do you be gone be gone! You know, at least she's taking care of these kids. I don't think she's doing anything like suspicious and murderous What's with them. Hi, Jenny. Is this where Gretka would have ended up? Alright, let's talk to that kid. Hi, 
gran. Oh. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and Stranger Steel kids. Just got one question for you. Don't be asking no questions. You're a stranger. Not allowed to talk to strangers. Can we eat now? Soup with scratchings. You here? Says he's afraid of you. Stop scaring my kids. I mean, I certainly understand. Uh, her reticence. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Hmm. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. <laughs> Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And eat snails, yuck. Let's just check on this. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. <laughs> I hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is. This this might be better than. The, the goat quest. Hide and seek with the kids. Let's Absolutely. Play. You hide. But if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking. And you have to count out loud. All your fingers. Toes. Two. One. <laughs> two. Three. <laughs> eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> God, this, this is great. I did not realize, to be honest, that it was going to be two games in a row where I, my character played hide and seek. Um, that's locked. Okay. Oh, where do these footprints go? Uh-huh. Oh. The, oh, up on top of this. Can I climb? Can I climb this? That looks like something the kids can climb. I don't think that I can. That means there's a child on the roof? How am I supposed to find this kid if they're on the roof? Aha. Uh -huh. I can see you. <laughs> gotcha, Jenny. All right, that's one. Jeez. Oh, okay, here's some more. And then they went out the window, I suspect. Okay, so I'll need to go outside behind this. After I finish stealing all that this granny has. Sorry, lady. Okay. Out the window.
Oh, oh, I found you. See you. Come out. No fair. I'm supposed to win. Ha. Well, guess what? I have superpowers. I'm like, I don't know if he's repeat, uh, or if it's just showing me one set of tracks at a time, and I hope it's the latter, because... Journey to the end of the world. Sirens, winged monsters, Gilligay Archipelago, most frequently in the populated isles, or unpopulated isles. Daughters of the mythical wing giant Resvelg, who lives on the edge of the world, births gales with the waving of his winds. His daughters seek out the company of giants and often make their nests near their lairs. They attack boats and ships from the air, tearing sails and rigging to shreds, rendering the vessels immobile. At times they will snatch men or cattle from the deck and drop them from great heights to their death. They also attack travelers trekking across isolated beaches. Hmm. Interesting. Lunar shards. Oh, hello, child. Terrible hiding spot. Found you. The kid in the you um, hiding. haystack has definitely done the best job. Alright. Let's uh see what else we got here. Here we go. But I'm like, are these the footsteps I already followed? This is the child on the fucking roof, is it? Seeing dots telling me to go this way. I don't know how to tell them I see him. I heard somebody laughing. Oh, there they are. They came down. Ah ha ha. Thank God. Found you. You're the last one. Bet you cheated. Slightly. Back to the cottage. I gotta tell the others I won. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promise, didn't we? Yeah, see, you're not strangers anymore. You played hide and seek together. Gran! Gran! Bumblebee bit Yagner in the arse! Gran! Come! Be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He mm. don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking. He saw his burrow, but Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though sh she says he's made up. Hmm. Where Dare are I you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved, others were killed, like mine. One day, we went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells. Then laughing, went up and no. hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled. 
and the soldiers laugh. Lay my pot down by the burn door. Is it clean off? And then my mom. It's all right. That's enough. Poor kid. Oh, I just want to talk to Johnny. Asked. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy. Cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. All right. I love this so much. I'm very sorry for stealing your stuff, guys. But look at me, I keep doing it. All right, that's enough. To her and to me. I've got time. Sorry. Ain't no rats gonna eat your eyes. And I know we're not allowed to see dirty boots. Apologies mean treats to please a belly needing to be put at ease. I I like Gran. She is trying so hard to parent these kids. You know? This is like a big one. Yeah. It says. Water hag? Yeah, that's what it says. He must leave prints. Alright then. Let's look for prints. Aha. Uh -huh. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. All right. Let's see. That actually reminds me, I need to go drop some of the stuff off. Uh, where'd those prints go? There we go. In a stash. That's what I need to do. For inventory management reasons. Gerald, don't you get stuck in the tree. The tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. 
Uh, do I have to go in there? Johnny? Hello! Don't be afraid. I'm You're impressed that Luka? worked. A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. No. Why not? Can't talk. You know the kids from the clearing well? Don't be afraid. Not gonna hurt anyone. This where you live? <laughs> Cozy Burrow. Good location. Must know about everything that happens in the bog. Doesn't bother you having monsters for neighbors? <laughs> What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? What? How the fuck is he supposed to... Anyways. Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Alright. Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. That's right. <laughs> Giant's like, nope. Hi, Johnny. This is great. Godlings. I will have to look at that. Watch out! monsters. Okay. I was like, please tell me I don't have to keep following them and I can just fight. Ah. Oh, that is definitely these. One of these Stay days I'll figure out me. how to use bees to be helpful. Oh, look how pretty this is. Ah, uh, it's so... This the place? Let me look around. Something's oh. on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Huh. Guess I gotta make this climb. <laughs> Johnny's like, fuck yeah! Go do it! Alright. Search the raven nest. Once I get up there. That's not the same little house. Anyways. Okay, it looked like there's a path. But I think I have to be a little higher up. are not just ravens. I should have known from that book. Right? You know, guys, if you just stayed in the air, I couldn't reach you with my sword. I'm just 
I'm just saying. Huh. Interesting. Is this voice sealed away? Huh. Some magic way? <laughs> Done celebrating. <laughs> My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like <laughs> licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang hey. on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Yes. <laughs> How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody I used it. some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. Like a witch in the bog? How do you Maybe. lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, because word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. <laughs> so it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't have no one. Hmm. Interesting. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise. Downright glorious. Suddenly, okay, heard Johnny. A bang. so loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared out of nowhere. Young, ashen haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. <laughs> what do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word, but you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. Hmm. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did yeah, she no. seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I love this guy. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that 
old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. All right. Let's go. I'm gonna be fighting more. Damn it. Yeah. Come on. Oh, and another water hag. All right. Let's do this. Take down the fast one. First. There we go. Not sure I want to take water off the water hag, but like, I don't know, maybe, maybe water's extra good if it's come off a water hag. I suppose there's a chance. All right. I hope Geralt has good boots. This man. This is definitely swampy. <laughs> good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I tell. You, you got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. <laughs> You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman Leave I asked this. about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Ginny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise, he'll pester me day and night. <laughs> During potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well... Since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Thank you, Johnny. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women <laughs> in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies, lovely. With power o'er all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you, a worm crawls, wretched and small. Out. 
dare you disturb our rest, woman? Huh. Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever, too. Where have you been hiding, boy? I'm What's looking just... for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon us, white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now, our servant will bring you the dagger. Yeah, this the is a good question. What for? When the Alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. That makes sense. All right. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Ooh, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, White One, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Quite the knife. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone arms, stone ears. Huh. Yeah, I was I was not expecting that. I was expecting, you know, to find the uh, that's pretty great actually. And of course, you can't get help from anybody without um, helping them first. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, that is all my time today. So I am gonna stop here for now and I will catch you guys the next time. Bye.